Hey, what's going on, fam? And welcome back to the channel. Uh, since this is the beginning of the video, I just want to remind you guys to hit that subscribe button if you if you haven't already. Uh, make sure you hit that thumbs up button as well. We really do appreciate that. Um, so where are we right now? <laughs> we are in front of Sam's Wholesale Club. But nah, y'all was just here like two days ago. Who are you telling? <laughs> I know, fam, but I'm not going in this time. You know, I think Peggy uh, saw a couple items. She wanted to take another second look at it. I don't know what it is. Dude, dude, does she need an excuse to shop? No. But uh, so DJ and I are going to be sitting out here in the truck. So this is, another, this is a great time for another edition of Waiting in the Truck for Peggy. Still no music. Whatever. Um, What am I going to talk about today? Uh, DJ, what's going on, buddy? You can't even see him back there, but DJ's back there right now, just cooling the nice air conditioned truck while we're sitting out here. And um, DJ has a lot of quirks y'all don't know about. He is he is very funny to me. Uh, one of the first things is if he sees me getting up, if I'm sitting down for a while, like doing things on my phone or computer, or watching TV or whatever. And I'm sitting down for a while, he'll be sitting in his bed like it's no big deal. But if I get up and start heading towards that door, he will find him a nice spot and get in this little crouch position like, okay, I'm ready for you to say the words. I'm ready for you to grab that leash so I can run towards you and we can go ahead and get going. It don't matter if we went outside just 10 minutes ago. He don't care. If I'm going out the door, he wants to go out the door. And he just get real upset if I just close that door. He just stared at the door like, I can't believe he just did that. <laughs> Peggy, try, Peggy tried to entertain him and stuff. He just like in shock. I can't believe he walked out without me. The dog is spoiled. Another thing I want to talk about. DJ is scared of heights. Y'all know we're pretty high up in an apartment building, right? That's where we set our base up. And so if I'm walking DJ towards one of the elevators and he notices the big window that has the overlook, he will hug the wall and he will hug that wall tight. And so if I try to get him uh, to come a little close to the windows, he's just not having it. He is going to plant his four little legs and just pull against that leash as much as he can. And I'm not going to force him to get close to the windows. Hey, that's my thing. But uh, he's definitely aware of the heights and any kind of potential danger that might represent. Another thing you might not know about DJ is he loves fresh cut grass. If he gets, if we get to a really nice lawn, I don't think he's gonna like get on there to try to pee on him. I try to force him away from it, but no, he's gonna fight his way toward that lawn because he wants to roll on it. He just wants to just roll in and feel the blaze on his neck and on his belly and everything. So. I got a clip right here. Uh, we passed a really nice lawn the other day. The owner was like cool with it, was laughing the whole time. And DJ was just rolling and rolling and rolling. I think I got like 20 seconds of footage or something, but he was on there for a good three minutes. But hey, let the dog have his fun. So I let him get his little roll on. And he was very, very happy about that. So that's another little quirk about DJ you might not know. Another thing about DJ is he is super interested in dogs that are smaller than him. If a dog is larger than him, he'll he'll approach but with a lot of caution and stuff. But when dogs are smaller than him, he's like he's in shock. Like, okay, what's this all about? <laughs> the other day, Cece came by with her dog, and she has a, a new little uh, French bulldog, I think it is. And DJ has spent the whole time just staring at the dog, looking at me like, "Do you see this? Are you seeing this?" Didn't bark once. Maybe I think he might have. No, he didn't bark once. He didn't bark once. So he's just very, very curious when it comes to dogs that might be a little smaller than him. And the final thing I want to talk about with DJ is he loves to run on carpet. I mean, when he gets the zoomies, you never know when the zoomies going to come up. By. So what I do is after we get done with a walk, I will be at the end of the hallway, make sure the hallway is clear, the hallway to our door, and I'll just take him off the leash, and he will just take off, running exactly to our door, and then look back at me, see how far back I am. If I'm too far back, he'll run towards me again, and he'll run back to the door, and his tail is just wagging, and he's just smiling, he is so happy. So he loves being able to just get that run on before he gets back into the uh, apartment. Cause not, you can't run in the apartment and stuff, so. 
He loves to get his exercise in, loves to get his runs on. So that's really, really good. BJ is over six years old. What is that, 30 something in dog years? I think they debunked that whole dog years thing, but he's a happy dog and uh, he makes us happy. So, you know what? All my all my waiting in the waiting in the truffle Peggy uh, segments are usually about what makes me happy and what makes us happy. So, I'm happy when they're happy, and that's the kind of thing that goes to my mind while I'm waiting in the truck for Peggy. Hey, what's going on, fam? So, I said I was gonna sit out in the truck right while Peggy was shopping, but somebody gave me a call. Don, come look at this. Don, what do you think of this one? It's not like that. I just like his opinion because he can look at something and tell me like if it's good material or not. Like ah. I'm not good with that. So I need your eye. You have the eye. I accept that okay. wholeheartedly. See? There but, you go. And you don't have to stand here with me the whole time. <laughs> See, I was trying to sew yesterday and I couldn't because uh, guess what? I don't have a chair. She don't have a chair. I don't have a chair to sit in. And the only chairs that we have are the bar stools and they sit way too high. Yeah. So. That's I, a legitimate reason. See? That's a and legitimate so I can, reason. I found a really nice chair. Show me. Yeah. Chair. So I'm sure y'all the chair that she uh, wanted to check out. So I came in and she asked me which one of these chairs should we get? So we got the white, I got her a white plastic table, right? For her sewing area. And so we got the white chair and the black chair. There's the table right there. And it, well, these are smaller version. They got big ones. They got up to like eight feet long. Yeah. They got huge tables in here and stuff. So I suggested the black one to do a little bit of contrast and she went with it fast. Do a little scan and go. And maybe I'll head back out. <laughs> what, so, what, so what, were you complaining? I, no, no, I wasn't complaining. I was say, hey, y'all, I know y'all think, y'all y'all probably think of who was in a Sam two uh, days ago. Uh, listen, listen. See, this is why your girl need her independence. <laughs> we, we've been trying to find me a little car to get from point A to point B. That way I could come here by myself and I don't have to depend on him so much. And I think that's going to solve this. <laughs> As long as I can sit out the truck, I'm cool with it. I am cool with it, fam. Please believe me. Please believe me. I am cool taking Peggy around. I am. This little robot cleaning thing has been trying to run us over for two days now. And no matter where I stand, he's coming directly towards me. I say he because it could be a she. I don't know. Donald and I had this pillow back when we were in St. Louis. It's only $12.99 for two pillows. Oh my God. That's See, a good I like deal. A, I like a firm pillow. I yeah. don't like a pillow that you can lay on and then it feels like you're laying on nothing. Yeah. I like a firm pillow and this is going <laughs> to... This is gonna do it. No, I, I agree wholeheartedly. That's a good That's a good price and it's a good pillow, so... Yeah. You know, I've been getting those $5 pillows from Walmart. I ain't doing that no more. <laughs> those days yeah, are yeah, over. That last pillow came from... Uh, the, on post. From the on post at the PX, yeah, that one yeah, like, you still yeah. Have that one. Yeah, that was, good. that was a good pillow. That was a good pillow, but you know, you gotta swap the pillows out every once in a while. And look, we said we wasn't gonna even come out on a Saturday anymore because Ooh. of the traffic, and here we are out here. Here we are, breaking our own rules. We've been in the house for too long, and I'm like, I got cabin fever. Yeah, we yeah. only got out last week to uh, go to the grocery store, mm -hmm. and I'm like, I gotta get out. Now, Donald and DJ gets out a lot. Yeah. I just, I don't get out as much. There's some good price in these sheet sets over here, but no, no, let's not get started with that because if I get her started, uh oh, she's looking. I don't know why I even mentioned it, fam. Let me go ahead and keep walking, see if she'll follow me. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Here he comes. Let's go. Ain't that crazy? It don't matter what hour we get on, the cleaning machine is coming down that way. Tell you that I love you 100 times a day. You'll get tired of my voice. That's how much I'm gonna tell you that I'll miss you. I'll miss you if you go. Yes, I'm gonna let you know just how much.
when we had lamb the other night. Well, I guess we should have came here because they got pretty good price on lamb chops over they here. Do. You got like a whole rack for like 40 bucks. We had like a half of, you got like two racks. And we had like a half of one for 30. You can get up two whole ones for 40. Right. But these are lollipop. These are the small ones. These are the ones we like better. So we need to eat these. Yeah. Look at us, boy. We lamb. We lamb people now. <laughs> lamb chop people. All right, fam. We have made it home to the house. To the house. We made it home. So I get the pleasure of putting all the food away. So when we go to the grocery store and we come in the house, Donald goes to his room and I put the things away. See how everybody have their prospective jobs and we get stuff done. Teamwork make the dream work plan. That's exactly right. You drive and I do the work. <laughs> so I'm just kidding y'all. I'm gonna wash my hands and start putting this stuff away. And then we're gonna come back because Okay, so Donald and I are going to do a simple version of cooking wars. We always do it with chicken, but I like chicken. So there have been several, several recipes on this Coca-Cola chicken. So I like my chicken to be fried hard. I don't like chicken when the skin is kind of loose and it just jiggly skin. I don't know what you want to call it. Y'all know the word. I can't think of it right now. But anyway, I like my chicken to be, you know, close to the meat and hard like a glove. <laughs> That's how I like the skin of my chicken to be. So anyway, I'm going to give you my version of the Coca-Cola chicken. I've never had it before. But, of course, your girl was on TikTok, and she ran across a really good, because I thought it was something like a teriyaki chicken, or a, it wasn't sweet and sour because it was dark. And I was like, oh, that looks really, really good. And, and so I was like, I'm going to try that. And then here comes Donald. I don't like chicken wings. He don't like, I don't know why, he does not like party wings you know like the little chicken wings when you separate the flat from the drummy like he don't like to eat chicken like that and I don't understand why I love it that way and so he's like well, I'm just gonna make my chicken different than yours if you could just please season it for me so we're gonna come back and cook a couple pieces of chicken just to see how they turn out I think Donald's gonna cook his in the air fryer yes and I'm just gonna cook everything on the stove Okay, so we will be back later after I put everything away, probably take me a good little nap, and then we'll come back. All right, fam. Hey, what's going on, fam? So here I am, once again, in the kitchen. <laughs> I can just imagine the eye rolls now, but it's going to be fun, fam. I feel pretty confident. I always feel confident, but this time I feel pretty confident. Today I'm making uh, drumsticks, right, in the air fryer. I think I got a good plan. So let me just let's just go right into it. Um, I got a brine going already. You can see it right here behind me. So inside that brine, I have five cups of water. I have two tablespoons of salt, one tablespoon of pickle vinegar, one tablespoon of sugar, and one tablespoon of soy sauce. And I also got uh, four bay leaves. I got three or four bay leaves in there. So that's been sitting in the brine for about 30 minutes now. So it's time for me to go ahead and take them out. I got to pat them dry first and then I'm gonna put it in my uh, coating. All right, fam. So are you ready to get this thing started? I have already taken the drumsticks out of the brine and I have dried them off thoroughly with a, a few paper towels. Uh, hard to believe this is the first time I ever did that. I feel like <laughs> I'm behind the curve a little bit, but I got them nice and dried off. And so now I got a mixing bowl full of what I'm going to use for my coating. Now see, the, the recipe just said the ingredients. It didn't say how much of each ingredient. So in this bowl, I have the flour. I have a little bit of cornstarch. I have a little bit of onion powder. I have a little bit of paprika. And I have a little bit of black pepper. And I even threw in a couple shakes of uh, lemon pepper seasoning just for, I don't know, just because. Because who don't like lemon pepper? So I'm going to go ahead and mix this stuff all up together. And then I'm going to coat the uh, drumsticks in a little bit of olive oil before I roll it through the mixture. And then uh, we're just going to throw it in the air fryer, 360 degrees, 10 minutes on each side. Simple enough, right? It sounds like it's simple, but I'm going to go ahead and do it, fam. All right. <laughs> My 
stomach Butterflies in my chest Heartbeat like a bird that's humming Trust your words cause you know me best Let's take a walk down a brick road Click your heels and you'll be there I want you, do you want me to? Once you hear the rhythm playing Promise you won't be complaining I'll be here for you if it's for you my body gets to sway and promise you won't be complaining and i'll be saying yeah All right, fam, so as you can hear, the air fry is going. Make sure you remember to let the air fry heat up first. You can't just let it run for 20 minutes because it take about a few minutes to get to that cooking temperature of 360 degrees. Now, I'm only cooking about, I'm only cooking about four drumsticks because, you know, it's an air fryer, limited space. But I like the way it was spaced apart. That way I get the air circulating through all of everything right there, keeping all the juices sealed. I don't know what I'm talking about, but I feel like I do. Now, I have a record right now with uh, Peggy on these food wars about 0 and 7, maybe 0 and 8. Today is going to be 1 and 8, fam. <laughs> I told her that a little while ago off camera and she laughed, but today it's going to be 1 and 8. So we're going to let it run for a little while. We're going to see what happens. Can I dance for you? So I'm back, uh, and this is how they turned out. They look pretty good, don't they? Nice golden brown, crispy crust, all that good stuff. What you don't see, <laughs> it's been about 40, 45 minutes that I've been cooking these, uh, these drumsticks. First problem, way too dry, right? If you're going to coat your chicken and then put it in the air fryer, it needs to be wet. Cause you can't you can't add heat to dry and make it crispy. You gotta add heat to wet to evaporate all the moisture out to make it crispy. So that's why I went online and started looking it up. Like, can you put flour on chicken in your uh, air fryer? They were like, yeah, you can, but you gotta put some moisture on the outside and stuff, so, or spray it after you as you start cooking it, and then flip it over and spray it again and stuff. So you gotta have some moisture in order to. Uh, to get a crispy crust and stuff. So after the first 20 minutes and uh, I had Peggy come out and look at it, she was like, oh no, no baby, no. So she helped me out, she put on some oil, <laughs> she dashed some oil on both sides, we kept cooking it, kept checking it. And then we got the product we have here today. So yeah, I don't know whether I can count this. If, if mine is better, I don't know if I can count it because Peggy had to come in and save me again. But... <laughs> It, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. So I'm going to taste it first. Then I'm going to have her come by and taste it because I just want, I just want to make sure it is not, it's not like too dry on the inside or whatever else it is. So I'm going to taste it first real quick, fam. Hold on. All right, fam. So I've let it cool down for about five minutes. I'm going to pick out one of these. I think I'm going to go with this one right here. Now that's a good looking drumstick right there. I know it's full of cooking. It's been in the air fryer forever. But let's see what it tastes like. Five out of ten. <laughs> It don't have enough flavor in it. I think I might have dried it out by cooking it so long. But, yeah, 5 out of 10. Here come Peggy, fam. I blame y'all. Y'all no. was like, Donald, y'all supposed to eat. You should be learning how to uh, cook your own. You know what, though? No, I would eat this. I would eat this. But, 5 out of 10. Okay, so I'm going to try. I'm going to try one, two. It looks good. Pretty bland, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, that's because 
who sees in the flower and not the actual chicken. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. I don't know. But I feel like if it was seasoned just a little bit better, it would be at least an eight. So he okay. did really good. So when he tries it again. Exactly. If he put seasoning, he put seasoning in the flour and not the chicken. Exactly. I'm going to season, I'm going to coat this, the chicken with seasoning. I'm probably not even going to use flour. I'm going to see how I come up with just oil. Then maybe I'll just adjust the flour level for future purposes and stuff. I like the texture, the crunchy. See, I like my meat well, well done. So this is This is well, well meat. done. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's well, well done, but hey, it's edible. Yes, it's it is. It's safe. It is. And five? I will, I will give it a six. Six and a half, maybe a seven. The only thing wrong with it is the seasoning. Yeah. So I'll give it a strong seven. Okay. I will give it a seven because I like the texture of it and it's got a good flavor. Yeah, I go, but it could I go be as better. As five and a half. Yeah, it could be a little <laughs> bit better. So anyway, I guess it's my turn. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to run through this recipe real quick. I'm not going to hold you because Donald... <laughs> He was over here doing the same thing. And I'm like, maybe I should put my chicken in the next video. <laughs> but we'll go ahead and put it in this one. So if you need to help this picture, with, you let me know. I'll come by I, and help I you out. I will definitely let you know okay. if I need some help. There you go. I know you're going to be there for me. There you go. All right. So let me get my ingredients and we'll be right back. All right, fam. All right, guys. So mine is going to be real quick. So I'm just going to take some soy sauce. I'm going to take some onion powder and I'm going to take a little bit of paprika and I'm going to season my chicken, okay? Now, I'm not using salt because you know soy sauce is pretty salty by itself, so I'm not going to put any salt in mine. So I'm gonna let it sit for about maybe 15 minutes so it can soak up the seasoning and then I'll be putting oil in my pan. So I'll be right back. Fam, I added a tablespoon of black pepper, okay? I'm going to put in a little bit more soy sauce. Not a whole lot. Pour a little ketchup. About a cup of Pepsi. This coat. Mm -hmm. It's about Pepsi. About a tablespoon of brown sugar. Put a little more onion powder in there. And then we're just going to stir this around. Just like that. And then we're going to let this cook down. I know it doesn't look like it's going to cook down, but it's going to cook down to something delicious. What I'm going to do is just let this cook down for about 20, 30 minutes, and then we'll be back. See how it's gotten thicker? Mm -hmm. It's made like a little gravy. This is what you want. All right. So let's go ahead and plate these up and taste our Coca Cola wings. All right. <laughs> I don't know where to start. First of all, it's not even a contest anymore. I, didn't even, I haven't even tasted them yet, but the smell, check it out. Look at that. <laughs> she got the little, we call decorative spring onions on top. Green. Green onions. 
It smells so good. It's the seasoning. It's not the method. It's the seasonings. I'm not even a wing eater, fam. I, I, I hardly ever eat chicken wings. I know I'm one of the few people out there. Everybody loves chicken wings. I always go for the, the drummies or the drumsticks and stuff like that. But I'm finna eat some of these. I'm digging right in. Ooh, hot. Uh-oh. <laughs> you can eat a spoonful of the sauce. Dang. I'm going back in, fam. Here we go. That's hot, hot. I wouldn't dare use a napkin. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I, wait for, I wouldn't think to say, use a napkin, dog. I wouldn't go say it. I wouldn't dare use a napkin. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I wouldn't dare use a napkin. <laughs> so unfair. Okay, I'm going to say... I, I want to give it a 10. It's so close. I'll take a seven on Oh, no, it's at least a nine. It's at least a nine, maybe even nine and a half. Rid ridiculous. Why do I even do these little cooking? For fun, quality time. It's no competition. It's all love, player. <laughs> I don't even normally like chicken wings. These are past delicious. Okay, let me try one. You finna, oh, you finna lose it. <laughs> Look, we gotta, we gotta sit in shifts around here. Yeah. But anyway, uh, dang. I've seen these wings, I've seen these wings everywhere, and I just don't, I, I wasn't a fan <laughs> of the light color, so, I kept going until I found something that was dark, 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 and almost kind of hard. And I know it looked like in the beginning that I over fried them, but I wanted them to be dark so that I could get this result, you know, without burning them, char them a little bit without actually burning them. And so that's what I did. And you can always, if you don't have enough gravy, just add you a little more uh, soda and a little bit more uh brown sugar and just taste it you know and make sure you like it but anyway let's get into this wing honey it's so hot how did you lift this oh my god that's good that's a good wing dang it's so it's falling off the bowl it fell off the bowl The only reason I didn't give it a 10, I probably would have wanted a little drier, I guess, but it, that, that's but you, that you juice. Can't. It's gravy. The, yeah. I don't know what to say. It might be a 10, baby, for real. Yeah, it can't It can't be uh, dry. It has to be juicy. It might be a 10. Well, it's at least a he 9. He might not give it a 10, but I'm going to give it a 10. There you go. That is crazy good. I don't even eat when. I just said it like five times, didn't mm -hmm. I? Oh my good look. The girl to clean the bone. <laughs> These wings are really good. Now I couldn't eat them a lot because they're they're kind of sweet. So taste them as you're making your sauce to make sure it is what it is. But I would make these again. Like I would when we go to St. Louis, I want to make them for my grandkids. Yeah. They're gonna love them. They're gonna love them. These are really, really good. It reminds you of like um Sweet, what was that chicken you get at the teriyaki chicken? chicken? Yeah, yeah. It kind of reminds like me of that. Express teriyaki chicken. Yeah, it but it's better. It's better. Yeah, this is good, y'all. I haven't eaten since breakfast. Mmm, that was so good. You can have another one. I will. Okay. <laughs> All right, y'all. Let me go. <laughs> Take me on. What you want, you're the one I trust. I belong, I belong to you, and I always.
always be around when I need some love and baby and I never let you down let you down let you down I'm your song and you're playing all my melodies there's no one else cause baby we got chemistry you give me feelings that feelings that I never knew The universe has known it. 